When it comes to animation in the holidays, there are two names you need to know. Arthur Rankin Jr. and Jules Bass. Rankin and Bass practically invented the animated holiday special. Their work has been essential viewing for over 50 years, thanks to their unbeatable talent for taking a holiday legend or song, fleshing it out with a whimsical backstory, and framing it with a caricatured celebrity narrator. Rankin and Bass are still the gold standard for holiday specials. And now there are generations of animators honoring their legacy, making holiday specials, movies, and TV episodes that scratch that nostalgic itch for a cynical adult who watches cartoons. Nog. Before I get into it, you may not have known this. The classic 1964 special wasn't the first cartoon featuring Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. This cartoon from 1948 was based on the original storybook from before that story got turned into the better-known song. And in 1998, a knockoff studio called Good Times Entertainment took advantage of the song's public domain status to produce their own... Well, I guess technically you'd call it a movie. Now, the 64 version is what we're all here for, but the comic book fan in me enjoys a character with Golden and Silver Age versions and a failed modern-day reboot. Which also ties into what I said before about Rankin-Bass and their Christmas cinematic universe. With Rudolph and Frosty as the big duo, and Santa Claus as the Nick Fury, who even got his own origin story, starring Mickey Rooney, who became their default Santa. Look, all I want to do is give away these toys. And, on a side note, these are filled with classic performances by my favorite voice actor, Paul Fries. Come and know me better. Why, I can do anything wintry. Come on, Frosty. We're all waiting for you. I must rid my Northlands of this ho-ho-hoing creature. Hello, dummy. Hello, Kubla. Herr Bürgermeister, Herr Bürgermeister. Look what was discovered on your front stoop. I, Burgermeister, Meister, Burger, take care of a baby? Outrageous! Now, I was going to do a deep dive on the Rankin-Bass cinematic universe, but it turns out Quentin Reviews has already done the definitive work on the subject, and I urge you to go check him out at the link above one of my shoulders. Rankin-Bass did a lot of 2D animation, where I think you could really see that the animation was done in Japan. But their greatest legacy is their distinctive style of stop-motion animation that they called Animagic. By the time they made Rudolph in 1964, they'd been doing Animagic for a few years and they kept refining their techniques. By 1985 and the life and adventures of Santa Claus, they were at the top of their craft. Colorful sets, distinctive characters, fluid animation. How shall I begin this story of the life and adventures of Santa Claus? I still find it largely incomprehensible, but beautiful to watch. Great Ack, what is a child? So, to celebrate the legacy of Rankin Bass, here are some affectionate throwbacks of that handmade Animagic style, starting with one that I'll preach about for life. A Miser Brothers Christmas premiered in 2008 and was very deliberately designed to feel like the classic Rankin Bass specials. It's Christmas time! Heat Miser and Snow Miser are the stars this time. Pretty close to how they appeared in The Year Without a Santa Claus, and yes, with their weird little homunculi in tow. Along with a redesigned Mother Nature. And please, let's try to keep this civil for once. Their brother, the North Winds. All I need is Santa out of the way, and Christmas will be mine! And the rest of the family. The tides. Lightning and thunder. Earthquake. Best of all, George S. Irving, the original heat miser, reprised his role. I just wanted to say, even after all we've been through, I still can't stand you! And Mickey Rooney, at 88 years old, put on the Santa suit one last time. I want you to hitch up the team. I'm taking Tinsel's super sleigh up for a little spin. Again, this was made with a lot of care and respect by Cup of Coffee Studios in Toronto. Next, I have to give an honorary shout-out to the North Pole prologue from Elf. I say honorary, since the only animated parts of the sequence are the celebrity narrator, Leon Redbone, and the animals. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Take care. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Thanks, Mr. Narwhal. 
While the rest of the sequence is in live action, it's a loving recreation of the Rankin Bass aesthetic. John Favreau had a lot of fun using Sue Hooper old school techniques like forced perspective and undersized sets and props to make Will Ferrell look like a human in a world of elves. Next, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I'd like to be a, a Not that Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer 4D is a 10 minute retelling of the story using classic stop motion. So what is the 4D part? Have you ever done one of those theme park attractions where they show the film in 3D and occasionally spritz you with water or wind and they pump in the smell of chocolate? Like Muppet Vision 3D, which I always do at Disneyland. Did you say cheap 3D tricks? Uh... <gasps> Rudolph 4D was produced by Simex Iwerks, who specialize in these sort of ride films, and animated by Bent Image Labs. Now, if I'm being honest, they could have taken a little more dialogue from the original. Come on, you gotta have the line about how his beak blinks like a blinking beacon. The real enjoyment is in family fun and cheap 3D tricks. Hey, the bear said it, not me. And again, the animation by Bent Image is just beautiful. It's the most faithful recreation I've seen with the added advantage of high definition and digital previs. Rudolph 4D isn't going to be playing at any theme parks or state fairgrounds anytime soon, but you can find it on most recent editions of Rudolph on Blu-ray or DVD, along with a making of that's pure bliss for an animation dork like me. We kind of got to be known as the keepers of the style. Finally, you know that thing where a TV show does a Christmas episode that's so good you end up watching it every Christmas, independent of the rest of the show? A big one of those for me is Abed's Uncontrollable Christmas from season two of Community. Now, yes, Community was a live action show, but they were known for their self-aware use of homage, pastiche, and outright parody. Dan Harmon wanted to do an animated Christmas episode without breaking the fourth wall and with actual emotional stakes. So Dan Harmon, being the well-adjusted guy he is, had Abed having a mental break. And this is the most important Christmas in the history of the universe. I'm assuming that's why we're all stop motion animated. I vote we let it go. Technically, the whole thing takes place in the study room with Abed describing what he's experiencing. We're all running through the candy cane forest. Oh, careful, bit about. Don't trip on a gumdrop. Oh, no, I tripped. But Abed's delusion gives us a holiday special that's a perfect balance between sincere homage and smirking parody. Everyone stay perfectly sincere. Humbugs are attracted to sarcasm. Wow. Somewhere out there, Tim Burton just got a boner. And, like the best Christmas specials, it leaves you both teary-eyed and laughing uncontrollably by the end. The delusion you're trying to cure is called Christmas, Duncan. It's the crazy notion that the longest, coldest, darkest nights can be the warmest and brightest. Christmas Pterodactyl! All right, all right, I'm leaving. I get it. The meaning of Christmas is the idea that Christmas has meaning. So those are some of the ones that scratch that animagic itch for me. There are plenty more of varying degrees of quality. <coughs> Hopefully something on this list will appeal to you so you don't end up having to watch The Little Drummer Boy Book 2 again. Before I go, I got some great comments from a user called Pipsqueak Incorporated, and she's got her own cartoon channel that you should check out. I went on a Courage the Cowardly Dog binge after watching her video. So, what other cartoons are you watching this Christmas? Did your favorite show do a Rankin Bass throwback that I should know about? Drop it in the comments, and while you're down there, hit like and subscribe. Me? I'm gonna get more Nog. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad.